Hey guys, what's up? Uh, at the property today, gonna do some more work. We got the mini excavator today, so it should make it through this muck and water a lot better. Hopefully, it might be uh, might be an entirely different video than I'm planning, but we're gonna try to make it back there and dig up some of the stumps while the ground still isn't frozen yet. Uh, we chopped down some trees and I'm gonna try to chop down some more today. I just got off the phone with the permit lady and they should be coming next week to hopefully approve the entrance for the driveway so we can get the culvert and start using that end of the property to do work so we can park there. Uh, should be a good day and hopefully I don't get stuck. Going down. So good. Whoa. That's the culvert area. Oh yeah, baby. Climbing right out. <laughs> I can see why they make tanks with tracks. Totally underwater. I think it's time we drop this big guy. Probably about 60 or 70 feet tall, so we'll see how this goes. Alright guys, it's starting to get a little dark and starting to get really cold, so I'm gonna head home. Uh, we got the two stumps out today. We got a good stack of wood that we can split later on. Um, I'll come back in the morning and I wanna do some more work out at the road, so see you guys tomorrow.
last night. Uh, gonna get a fire going today. I wanna cut some more saplings out by the road. That way we don't have any issues with our inspection. And gonna take down that tree that's in the middle. I'm gonna have to top it so I don't hit the uh, power lines, but it should go pretty easy. Let's get to work. All right guys, that fire didn't really work out. Um, it's just way too wet, so we'll wait a few weeks and burn it then. Um, need to top that tree. It's uh, above the power line, so if I just cut it down, it'll take the power lines with it. So I'm gonna shimmy up there and uh, cut probably five, 10 feet off. And then I'll, I should be able to drop it this way. It's leaning in towards the property, so I don't have to worry about the road, but getting up there is gonna be a challenge. I'm here to tell you, I would definitely not recommend that. I'm still shaking, just using this handsaw. That top limb, if I would have let loose, that was going in the road. So I had to wait for cars to not be coming and risk it. Whew, hard part's over though. I'm not sure what's going on. That small one's chain is just super dull. It's taking forever with that. My big one, I think, fried on me. It was going and it just stopped instantly, so I think it seized up. So I might need to buy a new one. Hopefully not, but we'll look good at it back at the shop. I'm just gonna roll the big guy out of the way and maybe make some piles on the side here. And uh, I'll bring the machine back a different day. I don't wanna haul this all the way up there, so. up look at that all the way back there way up there it's gonna be a house someday <laughs> all right guys that's it for today uh, we got the saplings trimmed out by the road we got the center tree topped dropped cut up ready to be burnt so once it dries out a little bit we'll get that all of this burnt I know it's not much it's just trimming down a few trees but this is awesome. I'm, I'm excited. This is finally, you can finally see where this driveway is going to go someday. And yeah, if you guys like these videos, we'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Uh, we're going to try to document just like we have been doing so far, but the entire house build start to finish. So if you guys enjoy this, give it a like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. We appreciate it. Thanks guys. And we'll see you on the next one. One, two, three. Oh, that's not good. I was trying to get a shot of what the driveway will be from the other side of the road. 
So I was standing in that far field and I lost sight of it and just hit that tree. So yeah, not my brightest moment, but that's what uh, repair repairs are for, I guess.